In this module, we are going to learn about charts and how to work with charts. Now, charts are basically your visual representation of your data. Now, as we all know that uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, if you look at a picture, you understand a lot of things rather than if I try to explain you in words and of course in figures. Now, these data are important and by looking at it, you may uh, get some information. And since this data is very a small one, by just looking at it, you can get a lot of information. But suppose if this data would have been huge, you know, around 500 rows or 600 rows, around 50, 30 columns, then just by looking data, you could not derive any really, uh, valuable information uh, on which you might take some important business decisions. So in order that uh, your, uh, we can take important decision and understand our uh, data very fast, so that we can take some important decisions, uh, we require some visual way of representing my data. For that, Excel provides that with charts. And there are different types of charts with uh, which we can work. So in this module, we are going to learn about column charts and how we can represent this monthly budget uh, table in a chart. So let's get, get going. So if you look at this data, this talks about a monthly budget of around three months like Jan, Feb and March and the totals and percentage of rent in the total. What is the uh, contribution of rent in the total of your budget so it is actually 60% of my budget which is which goes to rent 7% goes to phone and so on and so forth similarly uh, each of these months what are the different items or bills I pay and of course these are you have more bills than them but I just took a few of them so that uh, you know it's easy for you to understand now how do I create a chart now do I require all the data no not really you are not supposed to or you, if you want, you can pick up all of them if you can really think about some chart about it. But right now, we are not doing that. Suppose we want to build a chart which will give me a visual representation of my bills for each month. And I want that to be represented in a column chart. Now, that's the best way of representing this information. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So what I can do is I can select this data or right, which I want or which I want the chart to be created and then go to the insert and then we have the charts here as we could see we have lots and lots of options for charts right and over here we have this option for column chart so it's a 2d column 3d column and so on so by just putting my cursor on or moving my mouse you can see these charts are created so I just pick up this one which is a 2d one simple one and I click and automatically this chart is created so you can actually see that uh, it is very very simple in order to create a chart as you can see these are my data series which represents the each uh, bills so this is my rent this is the phone, this is the credit card, this is the food, and this is the candy. And that is the legends are giving here, which actually identifies them by color. And then which color is uh, denoting what is shown here. Similarly, this is my x-axis where I have the date, which is this part. And this is my data series. We call this the data series, which represents each item. So if I select this, you can see automatically the system selects this, which says that this series is basically this one, which is your rent, and it goes till 1000. So your y-axis show me the amount which I have spent, and my x-axis shows me the month. When did I spend this? So this is how a column chart is represented. Um, and when I click on this series, I'll get this phone one. If I click on this series, I will get the credits. If I click on this, and so on and so forth. so and all these series are selected so if I click on the candy and I can get this 
So this way, this data and this chart is linked with each other. Okay. So if I change, suppose, if I change this March, suppose I get uh, the rent has increased for me for March. So if I say, okay, my rent got to $1,200. So if I click outside, you'll see automatically the data in the chart changes with automatically. So it's a link between the chart and the data. So you can see here, it goes the March rent is showing 1200 whereas the February and uh, Jan rent is still 1000 So there is a link between the data and the chart. So if I click on the chart outside, you'll see it selects the entire data which I had actually selected to create the chart. Now, with the chart comes a lot of uh, two tabs are added to the ribbon. One is the chart design and the format. Okay, so with these two, you can do formatting to your chart and change certain designs of the chart which we, which we are going to discuss. Now, the moment you select somewhere on the sheet, that goes, that option goes. Because those two options are only with the chart. So those are only present, only comes up and adds to your ribbon whenever you select the chart. But again, it comes. Now, that's the default format of your chart. If you want, you can change the default format of the design by clicking up this or this. Now this looks good, you know, this is what I prefer and this looks good. So you have multiple options where you can actually, you know, put these things. So this is one thing which you can, you know, select. It is selected that format and it looks really nice, okay? And here, here the chart title and here we have all these things which you can do. So that's the place where you can actually format your chart, okay? Now, suppose I want to change certain data in my charts right I do want to I want to do some changes to my chart so I do want to show my Feb data I just want to show my Jan and March and maybe I want to compare with them forever then how we, we are we are going to select the data now in order to select the data what we need to do is we need to select the chart go to the chart design and select data so here is the option select data so the moment I do that I would see that a dialog box comes up. Now this tells me which series I have selected. Now I want to change that data. So what I do is I select that, delete it. And then I reselect these two. And since I don't want to select Feb, I'll press Control and select March. So I'm not selecting Feb, right? So I just cancel it for a moment. And I just select outside. I'll select here select data and then I'll delete this and then I'll select this select Jan press control and select Feb right so you see Jan and March here and Feb is not there right and then I say okay. okay oh so I can see now there is a Jan here, there is a March here. Though Feb comes to the x-axis, but it doesn't have that series showing up because that has been left. But again, that should also should not have come. I think it's a bug here, which is there. It comes up in few of these uh, charts. It doesn't come all of this, but in few of the chart, it might come up. So what you can do is you can simply right click on this, on this axis. So this is your x-axis. You can select that axis, right click, go to format axis, and here it actually selects or automatically does it. So what we can do is we can convert that into a text axis. So the moment you convert that into a text axis, if you close it, you'll find that has gone. You know, that Feb has gone and you can see this Jan and March just next to each other and with the proper title out here. So this way you can actually create a column chart and you could also change the data. Now for example I want to include the Feb as well now. So what should I do? I should select this, click on the select data, delete this and then select it again. Okay, 
then FIP comes. Now suppose I don't want to include credit cards. So what should I do? I just don't want to include the credit cards. I just want to see rent, phone, food and candy. And I don't want to have credit cards here. So what should I do? Simple. You select this. Go and do the chart design. Go to select data. Delete this. Select this. Till phone. Press control. Select food and candy. And leave credit out from the selection. You can see here rent is shown, phone is shown, food is shown, candy is shown and no credit card. And say OK. And you can see here rent goes, phone goes, food. And you have only four series which is rent, phone, food and candy for three months. So now you can see how we could actually create a chart with different selection of our data. Thank you.